What's up, weirdos? I just moved, so this is this this is this is all new. But I'm really like exhausted after all that. It's been a crazy past. Who cares? I'm basically I'm just saying I'm exhausted and I need the button. What is the one thing that has never failed me in my entire life? The button. The button. It's always got juice. It's always entertaining. It's always sweet, and it's so much fun to make videos about because of the juice. Like I said, the juice. So let's let this juice loose. No, I don't know. Welcome to the button, a speed dating show. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. I just have got to show that to anybody who doesn't like know what it is. We know what the button is. You got to spit in their faces and look them in the eyes, telling them that their mother and father made a hideous child. Wait, I just looked in the monitor. I kind of like this new. I kind of like this new setup. Monitor. What am I talking about? It's a camera. I wish I could show you. What... Actually, I can't show you what. Looks like. Hey, Vsauce boy here. Bald? Is it? Um. The two holding rooms will be able to watch live feeds of our dates in the studio. You know, I'm, I'm a Scorpio. Me. I'm nasty. Let's see what happens. Wait, can they change how the bu That's insane. Oh my god, so then if somebody's being a little toot and a half, then they get to go in and reject them immediately. Oh, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. All the all the manipulators who've been on the button before are just gonna get just gonna get axed. Okay, okay, uh, the first two people. Come on, come on. My name is Reed. Reed, I'm yeah. Shay. Uh, I can't lie. What's going on with the, I don't, uh, uh, is it a mullet? Listen, listen, listen. I'm gonna let him cook. I'm not, I'm not one to comment. I'm not gonna, I'm, I, uh, me making jokes, me commenting on the hair of people of color. That's a bad look. Is it a mullet? Oh, is it, is it? I'm so nervous, like, <laughs> they're watching us, you know, that's kind of weird. <laughs> he li Sorry, he's got the hair here on his chin and it's literally mirrored on just the back. Like he just really wants to have bush on his neck. <laughs> he's got back of the neck bush and that's hot, right? That's hot? Actually, no, I just saw what he's wearing. It's a, a little bit gamer. He's gamer coded. It's fine to be gamer coded. Listen, anybody can be a gamer and anybody can be a happy gamer and gamers can be in love and find joy. But I could see somebody with the chin bush and then the back of the neck bush talking down to me about Baldur's Gate 3. I know it's basically d and I know! That's why I got it because I don't have enough friends who want to play Dungeons and Dragons with me. Kind of look in the monitor again. It's a cool setup. I, I hope you like it. I also don't have Wi-Fi so I can't like these are color changing lights that are activated by Wi-Fi so I can't change them. I'll dim this in other videos. That's the I am Knuff shirt. And then Easter egg? Easter egg? Okay, let's get back to the back of the neck bush boy. Ooh, back of the neck bush boy. Bushy boy with a bushy back of the neck? Ooh. Oh, this might be a good choice of style. Uh, I can't lie. I'm so nervous. <laughs> like, they're watching us, you know? That's kind of weird. Let's that's breathe different, together. You know? Fun fact about Shaquilla. She likes to fight and she's a mom. <laughs> Oh, you beating your kids? <laughs> no. <laughs> He's funny. I like Reed. I like the bushy neck back of the bush, 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 b b back of the. I like him. Oh, but this is interesting because she just revealed that she's a mom. Or the button revealed that she's a mom. You dirty little button. But now he's thinking, oh, if I react negatively to her being a mom, the people, even if they might, might not be moms, they might see his reaction and then button him if they get out there. So if he's like, I don't want to date a mom, he has to basically lie? Yeah, this video's great. I'm definitely gonna be praying to this one later. I'm definitely praying to this one for five hours. Getting down on my knees for the Lord and Jesus to this video. Let's keep going. I think whoopings are abuse. Wait, do you agree? Sorry, that was just a funny time to restart it. I think whoopings are abuse. <laughs> just that. Okay, let's- I have a terrible saying. I- I beat children. I'm you sorry, beat children? But I have no kids. Whoa. What? All the ladies are reacting the exact same way as me. Except that one girl was in the middle right there. Just sitting there. Well, 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 well. No, but that's crazy. Why would you say that? First of all, online. Second of all, in front of the people who are gonna be like rejecting you in a second. Read. No, this is back of the neck bush boy behavior for sure. That bush on the back of his neck is talking to him right now. Hey, I know that's not your kid. Go over there and beat its ass. I can't. It's not my kid. I don't care whose kid it is. Go over there and grab a tire iron and just start swinging. That's crazy. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's, 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 let's regroup. Is that what I say? That sounds <laughs> bad. A little bit. Hey, Reed, hey, I'm just like flabbergasted. I have a terrible saying. I beat children. That's not a saying. That's just like a mission statement. Oh my God. Uh, I have such a terrible saying. I don't know if I want to say it, but uh, I want to kill you. Do I look taller in this house? Please tell me I look taller. Please comment how tall I look. I'm six foot two and a quarter. By the way, is she just reacting like this because she's scared? scared of like if somebody said that to me my reaction would be light up red please bam but she's like oh no 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 i guess this is the button child beating edition that's bad oh my god he didn't even say like i believe in harsh discipline like a spank like he didn't even say that he said i beat children and then i don't even have any i just want to it's just my goal in life if i see your little tyke walking down the street 
I'm taking this hand and connecting it with his cheek. What's up? Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Would never do that. Okay, let's keep going and see uh, what the heck happens to this guy. Does he get arrested? I actually like never really hit a child. But, but you believe in it, is what you're saying. Yes. Okay. When I okay. have children, that's, okay. that's big. Okay. You know? Ooh. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. If we had to look at Reed, back of the neck, bush baby child beating boy, for one more round, I I don't think I could have done it. But okay, he gave his defense a little bit. I don't do it right now, but when I have kids, I'm gonna be walloping them. You hear that, Gustav? You hear that? Don't you look at me like that, young man. You're cruising for a prison. You're cruising for a prison! On your cheek from kisses. He's my handsome young man, and I love him. And if I can feel that way about a dog, you can feel about that way about your human baby. That would have hit if I got it right, but I have a freaking speech impediment. Apparently, I don't. I don't. Please don't call it ableist when people make fun of me for how I talk. That is what makes me feel awkward when people are like, hey, don't make fun of the way he talks. You're literally being ableist. I'm like, first of all, I get tripped up over my words. I'm not disabled. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's so funny to see that, though. Like, guys. Film Cooper's my favorite disabled YouTuber. <laughs> hey, I appreciate it, but don't say that. <laughs> I'm not. I just, I just don't talk. Well, got it. Oh! <laughs> why? 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 What do you mean why? It just felt like I needed to, to be honest. I don't fuck with that. Me neither. Thanks for understanding, but Shaquila. I put my two hands together, and I pray to you. Thank you, Shaquila. Also, we get to look at the outfits of the fellas in the back right here. What is bro uh, second from the left doing? I like the fit. It reminds me of somebody who would demolish me in Pokemon. That's crazy. What a dumbass. By the way, he literally started this off by saying, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Everybody's watching. I'm so nervous. Yeah, if I have a kid, I'm going to beat the life out. Like, what? Do you think it makes you look manly, Reed Bush boy? You know how to be a man? I still love your partner and your kids. Yeah, that's what that's what real masculinity is all about. You're enough. You don't have to wallop your kids. Hi. I didn't want to interrupt your date with the button. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was just messing. <laughs> you don't think you're more important than the button? I mean, that's up to you, right? Are they gonna start kissing? Is that Drake? I'm not being dramatic. That's the most handsome man I've ever seen in my entire life, who also looks like Drake. Which is tricky because Drake. I mean, I'm sorry, Gus. He got really disappointed because he's a really big Drake stan. Hey, buddy, it's okay. Jimmy Cooks is still the best song ever made. Yeah, I just don't personally think that Drake is handsome. But when he said in Jimmy Cooks, Nike don't pay me to tell you, just do it. They pay me to show you, I do it again. God, that's hard. There's nothing harder than that. Except for me. I don't know where that sentence is going. I really like this guy. I hope he wins. It's really early, early on in the video, so I'm worried. Gotta get my words together. Okay. What is going on with his no, hair, though? Oh, the hair, the nails. Okay. <laughs> Every she said all of it. I don't want to tell a woman to S H U T. What's the next words? U P. I don't want to say that. Shut up. Are you out of your mind? What's going on with the hair and the nails? Oh, I don't know. A man who looks handsome and confident in himself. If you are scared of that with his shirt, he's literally me. This is the representation of me on the butt. That's me. I don't have my fingernails painted right now because I'm gonna get them gel done. Can you guys, by the way, comment below and explain what baby girl is for my mom? Every time I see her, she goes, what does it mean when people comment your baby girl? I don't, I don't get it. And I say, mom, it means that it's like, it's like ironic. It's like a little joke. And she goes, but the joke is what? That you're what, like a baby girl? I don't- So could you let her know, because I can't explain it, apparently. Okay, please, can this guy just reject every single person who said that they don't like his hair and nails? He's so handsome! Software engineering, bartending. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. What do you do? I have a dream of being a bartender. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's your- what, Okay, what's your go-to drink? Um, uh, my go-to drink is probably a margarita right now. I make the best margarita. Ooh. Guys! Guys, sorry, I've never said guys up before. Guys, he's so charming. He's literally so charming. And I can already tell by the energy in that back room that even if he gets to this next woman, he's just gonna reject him. Like literally, if somebody knows who this guy is, can you just tell him, God, dude, I can already tell you're gonna get rejected by these people who are so superficial in the weirdest ways. They're pointing out things that are like incredible about your appearance and then going, mm, yeah, all of it is bad. What are you talking about? All of it is bad? All of it? I'm sorry, all of it, the dream boat? What do you want? A man who looks like a graham cracker? Hey ladies, would you like me to examine your, uh, uterus? Trying to get in there, trying to get in there, uterus. Gosh, I love this new place. It makes me feel so happy, jolly, spry. 
and like a spring chicken. Quiet, quiet. No, ooh, I was trying to gobble, gobble. That's the turkey though. What do roosters say? Cock. They start with cock. I'm not really. Oh baby, we're barely even into this video. Let's let, let's keep going. Oh, oh yeah. Are you circumcised? <laughs> Are you no, circumcised? Oh, we been there. Shakira does not like a man who's uncircumcised. Ooh, wait, what? She doesn't like a man who's not circumcised. What? By the way, me? I'm surked up. Yeah, yeah. But I don't want to hear any slander for my uncut gems out there, guys. If you're uncut, praise God. Hey, shout out. So, 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 so what? She wants, she wants, like, I think the, you know, the progressive public opinion is that that, that is bad. And she's just on here telling, unprompted, by the way. Hey, yeah, by the way, one of the things you could bring up in this is that I don't really like uncircumcised gentlemen. Okay, well, Shaquila, I don't like your attitude. So how about that? Tristan, please button her. Please button her. If he's an uncut gem and she buttons him for that, I'm just not even gonna want to be around anymore, even. But let's keep going and see why she doesn't like uncut gems. No, yeah, I'm sorry for that. Sir gang, sir gang, sir gang, sir gang. Dude, I know Tristan was like me. I knew Tristan and I were energetically aligned. That is my dog. If Tristan is not my dog, kill my family right now. Kill them. Today. So, okay, so he's gonna win. So he's gonna win. Dude, please button her. Please button her for all the uncut gems out there. Gentlemen, if you're uncut and I'm looking at you right now, like this video. And if you are cut, like this video. And if you ain't got a thing in bingy, like this video. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going. By the way, could you please subscribe, please? I'm in a new place. It, subscribe for the new place. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do it as a joke, but then it's a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah, I make myself cringe inside. Let's keep going. No, yeah, I'm sorry for that. That's what you told him <laughs> when he signed up. <laughs> they were like, "Tell, tell me about yourself." I can't oh have a man who's God. uncircumcised. Okay, you've had a bad experience with I someone. I have. Who I don't even want to hear about it, to be honest. You don't have to. You don't have to talk about it. He's so funny. He's saying stuff like. Not to say that I'm being funny, but he's saying like we're on the same wavelength. Oh, please tell me that they're gonna work it out. Please tell me that this is just gonna be the end and then they're gonna introduce two new contestants because I just don't want to see him get rejected. And if he does get rejected, Gustav, I am holding you personally responsible and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull a read on him. I would never pull a read on him. I'm just threatening him because he doesn't speak English. Like it's funny, but if he spoke English, I wouldn't say stuff. How do you feel about kids? I have a child. You have a child? I have a child. Is that your like deal breaker? Oh. You don't date people with kids? My last relationship, she had a kid and it kind of like deterred me away from like that kind of lifestyle. Okay, okay, hey, 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 hey. He's communicating, he's being open, he's being honest, he's not lying to her and then slamming the button when, when he has his first opportunity. And you know what, fair, hey, hey, if you dated somebody with a kid and then you were like, this is not the type of lifestyle that I want to live right now, you have the option to not date somebody with a kid next. That's true, by the way, you're allowed to have taste. Did you know that you're allowed to have, like, taste? Because, you know what? She also deserves somebody whose taste is somebody with a kid because everybody deserves somebody who can, like, fit them like a puzzle piece. Having a taste, or it maybe taste is the wrong word, but, like, like a specific standards is what I'm looking for. Like, of who you're looking for in a partner, that's not a bad thing. Especially when it's not like your standards are, oh, if you have a kid, you're a bad person, so I'm not gonna date you. It's just like, I just don't want to. Because it's not just about you. It's also about her. And she deserves to be loved by somebody who wants wants to date somebody with the kid. High five. Put her there, champ. If you don't mind me asking, mm -hmm. what was the like hang up? 40 hours of my week is working from home. Mm -hmm. So I would be like the babysitter. No. Yeah, kind of got a little confusing when it came to the topic of discipline. Oh no, 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 no. Tristan, Tristan, no. Why would you do this? Are you gonna say that you like to beat children? Is that what this video is? No, Tristan, no. Oh my god, okay. I don't want to click play. I don't want to, but you know what, weirdos? Hi. Was she a gentle parent? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, and he was spoiled because of it. Okay. Thank you. I'm I sorry. think no, you're I was awesome. enjoying my time. Yeah, yeah no, but... don't. Okay, Tristan, what do you mean by that? Oh no, oh no. When he's a 10 out of 10, but also wants to slap his girlfriend's kid. Tristan! First of all, I don't, I don't get it. I understand though that working at home, like software engineer, would be insane if you're also living with 
your girlfriend's kid and it's like you're their dad. But it would be insane for the reasons of like, now I feel like I have to be this kid's dad and there's like this weird responsibility and this weird thing of like, does, is he growing up thinking that I'm his father and I'm just like trying to code? I get that. That's real. I would say, sounds like you kept asking your girlfriend if you could s slap her kid on the forehead and they kept saying no. And to be honest, I wouldn't let my boyfriend slap my kid. That's not what he's saying, but is it a little bit implied? A little bit? A, some sort of that? Some shaving off the sawdust block of that? Oh man, and he was so handsome too. Damn. But everybody else in the other room saw that, so maybe they're gonna maybe they're gonna interrogate him on this. I like that there's a live stream because now it's like an ongoing conversation. I really like this. A lot. Next, I, I guess. I don't wanna <laughs> him. I'm digging the blue. Thank you. What's your name? Anita. That's how fake I am. <laughs> Ew, I don't want to date him. Earlier, I don't like his nails. I don't like his hair. Her sitting down. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Thank you. Okay, girl. Say your piece. Speak your truth. Can they both reject themselves and get their both of their butt cheeks out of there? You know how like there's that one song <clears throat> that goes like, it's not about the money, money, money. Mm. You forget uh. about the prize. I was joking when I was like, that's how fake I am. She's being so fake right now. Literally a second ago, I don't want to date him. Then it's not about the money, money. It's like, girl, what are you doing? What is going on? Like immediately just starts like, hey, like what? Me personally, in my opinion, I don't like this type of person, but that's me. But that's me. You don't care about money too much. Oh, uh, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I said, do you know the song? I know the song. <laughs> I think only rich people say money doesn't matter. Right. Money gets you clothes, food, gas, rent. Okay, girl, stop saying girl. I'm don't don't do that. Lady, I don't I don't know I don't know your name. She's rubbing me the wrong way. If I'm getting rubbed, it's not right. That felt weird to say. I don't like her attitude. I don't like the like the am I am I wrong here? I'm not wrong here. I'm not wrong here. She's being so like like this is the type of person that you just don't want to be around and then you don't want this person as a friend. In my opinion, but that's me. But that's me. It's like the holding herself so high like judging, judging everything, judging. I don't like your hair, I don't like your nails. It's about my, no, 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 honey. It's actually about this. This is what I was saying. Can you just take a second? I was talking about the song. Now, can you please? You're stressing me out. Can we bring back the last lady who, her red flag was, doesn't like uncut gems. Ah, still, no, we gotta we got keep her out of here too. We stand in solidarity. <laughs> So, so what do you do? Ooh, I work at Mercedes-Benz. Oh, you're a I'm in car. Sales. Yeah, you're in sales? Yeah. I mean, buckets, literally buckets left over. That's exactly what her vibe is. Oh my gosh. So good at commentary YouTube. So good at it. Because she literally is a used car salesman. But not a used car salesman, a Mercedes-Benz car salesman. Do you have to emphasize Mercedes-Benz? Yeah, I sell Mercedes-Benz. And then instead of saying I'm a car salesman, she goes, I'm in sales. Can you just take a second? If you are a car salesman, Listen, listen, peace and love. Everybody deserves love and happiness. Peace and love. But if you're looking me in the eyes going, oh yeah, you're gonna absolutely love this one. There's four luxury he heated seats in the back. And if you just pay an extra $3,000, your wheels are gonna turn. I'm like, hey, you don't talk like that. Mother, I don't, I'm not gonna, I would never cuss anybody out of the car, but I'm here to get a car. I know what a car does. I know what car do. I don't want you to try to convince me about dual, optimal, air conditioning, seat bunching. What, like, who cares? If I want it, I'll tell you. By the way, don't ever buy a car new. If you take anything from my channel ever, never buy a new car, ever. You know how they say when you buy a car and you drive it off the lot, just that little bit right there takes it down so much in value? Hey, 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 you should be the person who gets the car after it's lost all that value, after it's been barely driven off the lot. But I want it to be new. It's gonna be new for like a week and then it's gonna have like 3,000 miles on it or whatever, whatever. Like, it's not new forever you're gonna drive on it so that one month where you have like fewer miles than the used car you're just gonna catch up to the used car and you, oh, you've wasted like twenty thousand dollars please buy a used car i'm begging you and if you're like no i want to buy a new one just buy a used one with like a very small amount of miles seriously please buying a car new is a terrible financial investment okay and that's cooper advice closed. Basically, I'm saying that everything that she stands for, I disagree with and that she should get buttoned off of here and then he should get buttoned off by the next person. Tristan, are you okay if your partner makes more money than you? If they don't hold it above my head. Oh, yeah. How do you feel about guns? I've had a lot of fun with guns, yeah. but I don't understand the obsession with them. Yeah. Oh, okay, because money and politics. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Talk about money, okay, talk about politics, okay. Some about guns, some about guns. By the way, I wouldn't have expected him to have a lot of fun with guns. No, I would, I would, I would. Now that I know that he wants to beat his girlfriend's kid. I'm not saying that he does. I'm not saying that he does. I'm saying that he seemed to imply that he 
thought that somebody should do something about it and that he was also there home alone constantly with the kid. That's all I'm saying. Because that's what he said. I'm not saying that. He said that. And I'm not extrapolating any information from that other than the implication seeming to be that he thinks that that kid should be walloped and that if he had a kid, he would wallop. Not saying that he did wallop that kid, okay? Okay? Base is covered. Base is covered. Base is covered. I would just say that, you know, we don't need war machines sold at... I don't know, a little place in a warehouse that you can just go to and take it home that day? Yeah. Yeah, I live in Texas and yeah, I see billboards for gun shows and I, uh, I would say, yeah. It's a unsafe atmosphere and feeling to see stuff like that. It's like, hey, that shouldn't be how that is. Oh, look at me, I should run for president. That shouldn't be how that is. Film Cooper, 2024. You can have your guns. Don't shoot anybody. Yeah. Don't affect me. Don't affect, uh, like, negatively on other people. Oh no! That's my guy! Aside for the one, you know, one extremely glaring volcanic flaw in his character. Other than that, we love to see it. We love to see it. So can somebody get out here and reject his... You know what? Actually, okay, you know, let me take a step back. Let me take a step back. Let me take a step back. There, he could just be criticizing gentle parenting in general. Maybe he's not saying that. Maybe I'm extrapolating that from the previous stuff. But the thing is, they were watching the live stream, so he knew what the conversation had already been about. So I'm assuming that he's talking about that same conversation. Do you know what I mean? He didn't say anything as bad as Reed did, so we don't know. But it gives me pause to the point where if I was in a speed dating show and somebody gave me that a level of pause, I would reject them. In the same way that he rejected her because I would reject somebody for Mercedes Benz. Golly, this is such a great episode of The Button. Really enjoying watching it. So juicy. Why am I too nice? That's what I told you. I'm too Girl, stop it. Oh my god, why am I too nice? Like, what are you talking about? I wouldn't say that you're nice, I would say that you are fake. So fake that Mercedes Benz wants you to be fake to their customers because you can fake people into buying a car, which they should be getting used for a much cheaper price with none of the negative effects that a new car salesman will tell you they have. Oh no, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of wear and tear on the tires. Yeah, because somebody drove 3,000 miles on it and now it's $10,000 cheaper. Uh, guess what? I'm also going to drive on my tires. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm letting my personal prejudices against a new car salesman get in the way. I just also generally think that she's fake and I'm glad she got rejected. Can somebody please reject this guy so that we can move on and get somebody new? Rashida, nice to meet you. Rashida. Tristan. Nice to meet you. Are you originally from Seattle? Okay, here comes low-talking, sweet-talking, kind-voiced Rashida, who, may I remind you, said that his hair is Ooh. She said she doesn't like his hair. Look at how she's acting now. Look at how we can talk behind their backs, but then when we're, we get to their face, we're gonna talk like this. Yeah. If you're mean behind their back, be mean to their face. That's what I do. And I am very rarely mean to somebody's face. Cause I'm not gonna be mean to somebody behind their back. I'm from the Bahamas. Oh, nice. I'm from Dominica. Okay. So tell me a little bit about you though. Like. I go for really long walks. I'm not quite like a hiker, but I like to walk around the city. Wow, that's really like the opposite of what I do. Uh, what, <laughs> what do you do? I'm very much like a homebody. They are absolutely sparking a new connection. This is like I'm watching The Notebook in front of my very eyes. Ryan Gosling is about to make out with me, me uh, Rachel McAdams. I don't know if I've ever seen less chemistry on the button. Just right out the bat. So, yeah, yeah. what do you like to do for fun? Oh, I like to go on long walks, not really hikes, just downtown. Oh, it's the opposite of what I do. I like to just stay home. Oh, okay. Uh, just a, somebody light the button up red so that people can reject each other. Get, let's, let, let's, you know, let's, uh, you know. I like um, cooking, so I spend a okay. lot of time in the kitchen. Oh. She pressed the button. She pressed the button. It was nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> For what? For what? And we want this. And I'm glad that we moved on because we need new blood. I liked Tristan, but the more I got to know him, the more suspicious I was of him. And I feel like I went a little bit hard, but I reeled it back in because I was conflating his beliefs with Reed's beliefs. But Reed's were extreme and terrible. We don't know the full extent of Tristan's, but in the context, it made me. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to be level-headed, but I think you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm Jared. Rashida, nice to meet, nice you. meet you. So fun fact about Jared. Yeah. By the way, I'm just gonna say right off the bat, <laughs> the first time I get a look at this guy face on, bro is going to have a difficult time talking to the women. I, I can already tell. Listen, listen, listen. I could be proven wrong. I'm about to be proven wrong or right. We're gonna see, but I'm making my prediction right now that he's going to treat these women weirdly. I'm not saying badly, but weirdly. He's got a zip up hoodie with the embroidered bees. That's a cool hoodie, but paired with the flat top that's tilted a little bit. Uh, uh, 
His appearance seems to me like the type of guy who would say weird things about women in the voice chat while he's playing games with his friends. In my opinion, like the type to have followed some devious subreddits. And that's me reading a book by its cover. Now let's see how literate I was. So fun fact about Jared, he actually likes to make weapons and play with them. What kind of weapons? Knives, restoring spears, like um, my family comes from Mindanao, which is a very indigenous headhunting part of, of the Philippines. Um... RUN! <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be yelling in my new place. I shouldn't be yelling. I was trying to do a joke and yell run because like, you know, he makes a bunch of weapons and spears and it's like because of headhunting, which is like, so the joke would be, he's trying to headhunt you, but but at the end of the day, I'm just yelling run in my new apartment. I shouldn't be doing that. Run, run. I love that he's connecting with his culture though. I love that he's connected like with his roots and like his family and like his heritage. I think that's great. It is headhunting though. <laughs> that's the part that he's really connecting with. Um, okay. It's like when you see a blonde guy with a beard and he's got an odd amount of Viking tattoos and a dog named Odin. It's like, okay, that's cool, I guess. Uh, huh? By the way, any blonde dudes with beards, I just immediately feel like they're ripe to pillage. <laughs> I feel like they're pillagers. I don't know. I could be proven wrong. I could be proven wrong. But even Hosier and his brunette self, he looks to me like somebody who could pillage. And I love Hosier. Hosier. I saw him pronounce it. This is my problem. I will pronounce a name right, and then I'll see somebody say, oh, this is how you pronounce it. And it's how I pronounce it, but then I'm like, oh, but I remember this, so it's gotta be a different way. Hosier. He just sang a song recently called, you know the distance never made a difference to me. And I said, oh. Literally, Hosier in his lyrics are like modern day psalms. Like from the Bible. If you're gonna take anything away from the Bible, David had a pen. That's all I'm saying. Also, that's all you should take away. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not talking about religion. Gay marriage, gay marriage, gay marriage. I believe in gay marriage, gay marriage, gay marriage, gay marriage. Literally all I'm trying to say is that Hosier writes songs like psalm. And that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying anything else. I'm not saying anything about, I'm not saying anything. Trans rights, drag queens should be able to drag a queen. What was I saying? Literally, what was I saying? Oh, he had another song that was like, oh, what was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? Something about I'm crushed beneath the weight of all that I, what is it? What is it? I gotta look this up. Okay, here it is, here it is, here it is. When my time comes around, lay me gently in the cold, dark earth. No grave can hold my body down. I'll crawl home to her. Are you out of your mind? Oh, cause even he reminds me of like a Viking who could pillage. And this guy making a bunch of weapons, head hunting, but it's fine, it's fine. It's just another tick in the column of a guy who might be a little bit, a little bit sus. Oh. Can you show us some of the martial arts moves? Yes, oh please. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> this is great. This is Barbie. This is, he's gonna Ken right now. He's gonna Ken all over the screen. He's gonna Ken himself blind right now. Can you show some martial arts moves? All the guys potentially going, yeah, because they know it's gonna really embarrass him and they're gonna get a chance, but also maybe because they think it's cool. No, they, they, they know it's gonna be embarrassing, but this guy, this guy doesn't know. And all the girls are like, ah! Corny! Corny! This is gonna be so cringe. This is gonna be such an ick. Gentlemen, if you know martial arts, and I do, I have a black belt in Taekwondo. Don't ever show it to a girl that you like. Ever. She could be on her hands and knees begging. Never, because she will get the ick immediately. But okay, let's see if this guy is able to. He's not gonna be able to. I, 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 uh, I'm gonna be able to control himself. He's just gonna do it. I can tell just by the look of his outfit. Okay, let's go. Oh. How about this? Hold on to my wrist and I'll show you something. Okay. okay. So, leverage with wrist. And you can't really hold on to me, right? Okay. And I could, I could give you one of those. <laughs> if there are any gentlemen who are watching this video right now, this is an absolute clear demonstration of the exact wrong thing to do. Are you out of your mind, dude? Yeah, so I like to connect with my heritage. What's your heritage? Head hunting. Oh, okay. That could be kind of cool. Grab my hand. What? Grab it. Trust me. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go like this and then bam! I can do that. 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 Yeah, that experience right there, that's really gonna make her want to kiss you on the lips. No, it's not! How do you not have the self-awareness to know that? I wouldn't have had that self-awareness when I was a young teenager. You know what I would do now? Not that. You know the distance never made. Can I do Louis Armstrong? Hey, let me stare uncomfortably into your eyes for four hours while I sing Mth by Hosey. <laughs> Sorry, I love the name of that song. You know the distance never made a difference to me. That's not good. I was gonna say that's good. It's not good. But let's go see something worse. Oh! Outside of creating the weapons, it also mentioned playing with the weapons, mm -hmm. and I feel like I need to know a little more about the play board. It's kind of like if, a, if you build a car, you want to take it for a test drive. Uh huh. Looking for the exits right now. Looking for the ex exits. So I make head hunting weapons, and then I play with them. Uh, what do you mean by play with them? Well, you know, I like to do what they're intended to do. Hunt head? Actually, that's what I am. I'm a head hunter. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got this because I was gonna do a Percy Jackson cosplay and I was gonna like spray paint it. You know, one thing about a man is he's gonna have an idea for a project. And I am no a woman. I am a man is basically what I'm saying. And the thing is, it would be so cool if I did the things I wanna do. Because Adam Savage, his YouTube channel tested, I watch it all the time. So I feel like I would know how to how to do it. But again, as a man, I will have a project in my mind, I will get the key component, and then I will do nothing. And I will never do it. And I know that, and I'm telling you right now. But there have been times, like the tipsy tier list about the Taylor Swift acting performances where I drank three bottles of soju. Go watch that video, it's insane. I got blackout, I don't even remember filming the video. But after that, I was swinging this sucker around like a demon out of hell. Just, in, just, in, just, in, just enjoying myself. And the thing is, guys, it's okay to do this. But you can't do it in front of a girl that you want to kiss on the lips. Do it in your own time. Do it in your own sweet, sweet time. I don't know why I just did that. Yes, I do. Oh my golly, I was being inappropriate, huh? Yes, yes, that's Jeff Goldblum. Let's keep going. I love you all so much. Please subscribe if you're not. I love that I get to do YouTube. It's so much fun. It's a dream come true, and I'm so grateful for all of you. And I'm not gonna cry, I'm just out of breath. That's how I express myself physically when it comes to the sort of thing. Here we go. Oh, oh no! Wait, why'd you press me? I feel like a lot was being said, but not a lot was being said. Oh, 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 so you feel like you weren't connecting romantically or emotionally when he was telling you, yeah, like this, like this, yeah, like this, like this. By the way, going for her neck, which as a headhunter, huh? Huh? listen, 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 I'm not saying that he's going to try to headhunt anybody, but I am saying that I don't trust him with a weapon and I think he would play around a little bit too much and he'd cut off my head. In Tucson, Arizona. If you know that reference, you really are the most devious bastard in New York City. Am I doing a good job? Am I doing a good job? You're very cute. My name's Casey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. All I'm saying right now, Casey is a man I trust with my entire life. If I was ever put into a situation where I had to choose between Casey and anybody else, Anybody else? I'm trusting Casey with my life. Ge like, I'm not even joking. Genuinely, Casey's my guy. He is my dog. I am riding or dying for Casey. If Casey jumped off a bridge, would you jump? Why is Casey jumping off a bridge if I shouldn't also be? Mom. I love my mom and my dad so much. They were visiting me a little bit ago and I just had such a fun time with them. I have a great relationship with them and I'm so happy. Let's keep going and see if Casey is gonna fall in love with her. Yes, yes. I moved to Seattle from New York about a year ago, um, but I'm originally from the Caribbean. Okay. I like cooking. That's important. Food is everything. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, man. Do you like eating? Look at me. What? I know for a fact. If he could tell me five facts about barbecue, I would never, ever be the same man. Casey, if you're watching this, guys, please, if you see Casey's comment, please, please like it so that I can see it. Actually, I read all the comments. But Casey, could you give me five facts about barbecue that will change my life and change how I like pursue barbecue. I feel like I'm not doing it right. Actually, that's wrong. I love barbecue. I'm a Kansas City boy and I believe the Kansas City ribs are the best meat in the gosh dang galaxy. Other than my wee- oh. If you had to pick a food to describe your sex life, what food would it be and why? Ooh, but it would be something- It'd be something spicy, huh? Wet and messy. I'm Casey right now. Oh, I'm so glad that Tristan didn't win. Peace and love to the man. There might be a miscommunication. I don't know. Casey's my guy right now. Casey is my guy. That face, that's literally the Shaquille O'Neal spicy chip face. This is chemistry. Oh man, this is great. Because they actually do have chemistry and we haven't got had to, we haven't got to with her chemistry yet. You know what I mean? She hasn't had chemistry yet with anybody. So we haven't gotten to see what she's like when she has chemistry. She's great. She's sweet. She's funny. She's flirty. Oh yeah, I'd say she's flirty. Yeah. Wet and messy right after he said spicy. Girl. Girl, you just won. You just won. If they don't fall in love, okay, I'm honestly gonna tell you the truth right now. If one of them rejects the other one, I'm going to start a battle. And I don't care who it's with, I'm gonna go out that door and I'm just gonna start walking. And then I'm gonna start swinging. Huh? Yeah, what? Yo, what's your name? Hey, you like wet and messy? I'll plead the fifth. How would you describe your sex life? You know I'm a Scorpio. I'm nasty. What's going on? I'm getting like, I'm a, get a little bit embarrassed if I'm being honest. Would you describe it? I'm a Scorpio, so I'm dirty. What are you, what? Okay, is that what Scorpios are? I don't like this. I don't like this. My mom was a Scorpio. She still is, but she was as well. <laughs> so when people say that, when people say that, it makes me go, ah, stop associating creepy things with astrology signs because 
your parents also have astrology sign. Ah! And I was just talking about how I really like them, but I'm gonna have to never talk to my parents ever again. Oh. Okay, how nasty, how nasty, Casey. Are we gonna get into this right now? Oh my god. Yes, yes. How nasty? What's the pinkiest thing you've ever done? Ooh. That's a good question because it's not gonna replicate like my nastiness. I haven't done everything. <laughs> I love Casey so much. Casey is Benny J. If you don't know Benny J, I did an undercover video where I went to Trump Burger and he was filming it. Also, I'm doing a ghost hunting video soon and he was filming it with me. This is crazy. He literally goes, I am so nasty. And they're like, what's the nastiest thing you've ever done? He's like, well, I haven't been given the opportunity, but when given, I will go crazy. That's so, so guy who just doesn't, you know, get a lot of, which there's nothing wrong with that. By the way, you can, you don't have to be doing it all the time. Your value doesn't come from that. You are enough without any of that, okay? I'm gonna stop saying that because it's a little... Actually, I'm not gonna stop saying it. It's on my wall. you. I like it. I like the movie. Kennedy, keep going. Shut up. Oh! You know what I'm saying? But I gotta hit the button, though. You are cool, you know what I'm saying? But I just don't necessarily see it going okay. for it, but... I appreciate it. Nice to meet you too. Casey, you've just committed the cardinal sin. You rejected a woman who you were flirting with and then she flirted back with you. Why? Was it because you're emasculated when you had to admit that you're not really that guy? And you were like, I can't look her in the face anymore now that she knows that I'm not that guy. And then you had to just leave? Or make her leave? Really? Really? Casey, you were everything to me. You were everything. Let's see what happens. Oh! What, is, what is your, like, deal breakers? I'd say somebody that's, like, just not honest at all. Like, there's no reason to lie at all. That's the only one? Honestly, that's, yeah, that's it. That's I like her. She seems nice. Things that I look for in a relationship. Nice, with the denim jacket, with the nose stud. They're leaning in. Wait, they're both leaning in. This means that they seem to both have a little bit of an interest in each other. Let's see what happens here. What's yours? I feel like confidence is a big thing. Um, I don't like possessive people. Yeah, this is coming from a past, you know what I'm saying? All I right. just know what I don't like at Tell this point. Tell me more. Yeah, possessive is bad. Possessive is bad. But when I hear somebody say that they don't like somebody who's possessive, what I hear is, I want you to let me cheat on you. That's what I hear in the subtext. Now I'm wrong. I, I, I am wrong. But for that to be the thing that you bring up is why it's weird. Like, you know what I mean? Like, for that to be the thing that you bring up. But, you know, maybe you just had a terrible experience. Uh, I just feel like there's no chemistry right now. And I just, let's just, come on, come on. Oh! You know, experiences teach you what you either want or don't want. I just know what I don't want. You ain't never been with somebody that's like semi controlling or something or like. They didn't button each other. Okay. 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 Maybe I misread it. Maybe there's a little bit of chemistry. It just doesn't seem romantic. It just seems like they're just hanging out chit chat. It doesn't seem like they're going to fall in love with each other. And that's what the button's about falling in love and then getting married and then losing your virginity. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, that's good. You know what I'm saying? I don't wish that on you at all. I've only <laughs> encountered it one time, but I just know it never again. <laughs> all right. <laughs> What's up? Ask her if you're her type. Am I your type? For sure. I like the teddy bear type. So. Oh no. Oh no. We're in the danger zone right now. This seems like they might fall in love and kiss each other and then get married and lose their virginities. Okay. Okay. That was a swift swing. Swift swing? Swift swing. Yeah. And I like his jacket. <laughs> That's my commentary here. Because they're not really even saying that much. I like her denim jacket and I like his jacket. So. They win. Yes, yes. This is, this is definitely my type. <laughs> okay. Casey, you think she's attractive? She is attractive. She got a nice smile. Thank you. Nice lips and stuff. I, yeah. Appreciate she's it. She's got a nice smile. She's got nice lips and stuff. Reel it in. Reel it in, Casey. Hey, 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 hey. Why are we talking about her lips right now? You just saw her. Reel it in, reel it in. I'm just kidding. They're here to flirt. They're here to flirt, right? And they're flirting. So I mean, let the kids flirt. They're adults. Don't let kids flirt. Get read out there if you ever see her. <laughs> but I say those jokes because I'm the edgy slash bad boy of YouTube. I don't know why, I felt I was pointing at you like I was gonna say something, but my mind went blank. Ah! Are you ever cheating on somebody? I have not. Well, I, I feel like you kind of like- I didn't. Was I it didn't. like a almost or something? It wasn't, I didn't. That was, I'm with Casey, that was a bit of a pause. Have you ever cheated on someone? No. She thought about the entire scenario and then said, should I say this or... Uh... But I made excuses when I was in the relationship, so I can't admit to it now on the button. Though she can explain herself though, but I will say, if somebody asks me if I cheated, I would say, nope. I go, nope. I wouldn't even have to think about it. I wouldn't even have to think, was that? I would go, nope. Yes, yes. What does that mean? Never cheated. You guys weren't like officially together or something? You feel me? Oh, so, well, so, you so know, there's a little more well, to the so, story. Like, well, so, you know, just a little break. Y'all was mutually on a break? For sure. Was... Were you guys like still messing with each other during the break? That's too many questions. Oh my god. This is interesting. 
Huh. So it's like if you're on a break and you're still messing with each other and then you're not communicating stuff and maybe even you're communicating that you have feelings and that you're in love with each other and then one person goes and does it with somebody else that doesn't tell you and then you find out about it or many other situations, it's almost like that's a bad thing to do. Huh. And you can... Oh, my, my light just died. Not like in my soul. <laughs> so that's interesting to think about. That's interesting to think about. Interesting. And listen, you can lie to yourself. You can tell yourself your own story of they knew. They knew that it was like that. They knew. But if deep down in your heart, you know that that's not true and that what you did was really hurtful to them, then I would say that that is a bad thing to do. That's my opinion. But that's me. If I'm him, I'm hitting that button because, you know. I'm hitting that button. That's, 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 that's. All I'm saying is Ross cheated on Rachel. That's it. But that's me. But that's me. But Ross did cheat on Rachel. That's cheating. What Ross did to Rachel is cheating. And also, friends, Seinfeld. Let's keep going. Yes, yes. I just want to hear like the story. But that's the truth. Get into the whole story. I feel like that's true. A break for sure. <sighs> Look at Reed right there. Oh, all of them are having a fun time. Reed's over there like, yeah, I wish I had a kid over here. I could just, <laughs> you know. Look at him sitting over there, the back of the head bush boy just sitting there going, God, I wish there was a child in here. Go! Stop pouting. Stop pouting. Get better denim. I mean, come on. Get your life together. Just tri like trim it. God. Ah! So I'm going to say a list of scenarios. And you will each say true or false. People should be friends with their exes. False. False. Okay, okay. They're cooking. They're cooking. They're cooking. Wait, this feels like they're gonna fall in love with each other. Because they're going on like a date for a while and they're like talking about red flags. And they had a bumpy situation with her that they got past. And listen, we don't know the story. Maybe she's okay. Maybe she didn't do anything wrong. But I will say that uh, the scenario that she seemed to describe is very Ross and Rachel. And I would say that if I was Rachel, I would react the same way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially because Rachel was still in love with Ross. Rachel was still in love and Ross knew that Rachel was still in love. So he's doing that to somebody that he knows is still in love with him, who he still has feelings. Like it's literally, if you're telling somebody that you have feelings for them and then you are also saying, but we were on a break. Go die. Don't die. Don't die. I'm just saying that to Ross Geller. You be doing this high smile. That's a false. <laughs> for sure. Women can't have too many guy friends. False. That's like a situational thing. It depends on how she acts with her guy friends. If I see something that's red flaggish and I address it and I don't feel like I'm being hurt enough for it to have been addressed, then it's a problem. There was a little bit of a bumpy, bumpy situation right there. But what's interesting is she was like, no, what do you mean you can't have too many guy friends? False. And then he was like, eh, and then he explained himself and then she was like, your explanation gives me a little bit of a sus vibe. But they're not buttoning each other. It seems like they're not right for each other but they're not buttoning. Oh my God, we live in a world of complex. Yes, yes. <laughs> Sex on the first date is okay. I mean, she you hit it off, you hit it off. Yeah, that's it true. is what it is. Yeah. So I'm, I'm pro-choice, you know what I'm saying? If, if we both can sin, <clears throat> then we fucking. <laughs> I'm back on the Casey train. I can't even remember what he said earlier that made me go ick. I'm back on the Casey train. Yep, yep, they're gonna be in love. Yep, yep, yep. If we hit it off on the first date and we both consent, we fuck him. That's a great line, Casey. He's a silly guy. He just doesn't get to act out all of his devious fantasies. Those little evil imaginations in his mind that he would like to do with women. These women he would like to be kinky with. He has no chances, but perhaps he will soon. Oh! But I do feel like you done cheated on Brody, man. You done man. I never cheated. Jared. She could cheat on me. <laughs> you gonna stick with it, huh? Huh? You gonna stick with that? I am. For sure. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Damn, a man of standards. What can I say? Casey's my guy. What can I say? We love Casey. We love Casey. I can't remember the thing that made him the ache me. I, if it's bad, I'm taking these claps back. Oh man, I'm glad. I'm Okay, thank God. Thank God. That guy in the back room, though, she could cheat on me. You're, you're being funny, though. You're being funny. He's a silly guy. He's making jokes back there while Reed is in the back going, God, if there was a toddler around here, I'd just go ham. Jeez, is anybody going to find love on the button today? Is nobody going to find love on the button? Is that allowed? I just feel like she may have possibly been holding back a little bit of truth, maybe. We're going to have to end today because we got no matches. All right. Oh my God. You can do that on the button? No. Oh my God. Read when he sees a toddler. That's insane. I didn't even know that that was like allowed that you could do that on the button. Wait, oh my goodness. My decency is exposing. I guess the lesson for today is that's 
crazy. I mean, they were about to just fall in love, but then they just didn't. There's no love. We're ending on no love. Except for, I guess, the love that I have for you and hopefully you have for me. And please subscribe if you do, weirdos. So this right here is, uh, I like this one. And then this one says I'm Knuff. And then this one, I think is like, uh, Lucifer. And he's sad. And then this one is Icarus, and it's my favorite painting. And I love Icarus, and I want to get a tattoo kind of this painting. And this is, I think, David. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci painted that, and he just gave it to me. This is, by the way, a very rare mirror. This is like a rare, like, colonial. Like, it's um, it's like an antique, like, antique antique. I'm really excited. I got 